Hey guys, welcome to Tyson's Fitness Tips Podcast. If you want to lose weight, increase your energy, improve your health and fitness, and look your best, then you have come to the right place. My name is Tyson Brown. I'm a personal trainer, and my job is to help you transform your body by sharing with you the most up-to-date information on health and fitness. I'm going to distill it all down for you into bite-sized, actionable steps that you can take immediately to see results quickly. Now, every Tuesday and Thursday, you can expect a brand new episode, which will be a mixture of interviews with top experts from around the world in the fitness space, and as well as solo episodes from myself, sharing with you exactly what action steps you need to take to transform your health, your body, and your life. So, let's get into the show. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, another quick update for you guys. So these this podcast that are going to be coming out over the next couple of weeks, they're going to be some videos that I recently made on how to figure out how many calories you need, how much protein you need, and fats and carbohydrates, just to give you an idea about how many how much you need to be eating every single day in order to lose weight. So these were originally videos, and if you want to go on the YouTube channel, you can go and watch it, but I've stripped the audio out because I still think this is a really, really valuable tool, and even though I relate to and I make references to the whiteboard, if you just listen to what I say, you can apply the exact same thing and use these calculations so that you can figure out exactly how much weight you need to be, how many calories, sorry, you need to be eating every day in order to lose weight. So sit back, have your black coffee, and enjoy listening. Hey, what's up? We are back with another episode of Tyson's Whiteboard. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about how much protein you need every single day. So the other day, I talked to you about how many calories you need to be burning in order to lose fat and how many you need to be eating every single day. If you didn't uh, see that, make sure you click on the button to have a look. It is body weight in kilograms times 30, just a reminder, and then 10% off that. So once you know how many calories you need to be eating on the day, it's time to break up the macronutrients, right? The first thing we want to focus on is the most important, which is protein for the gains. I know, arms aren't that big, but what do you do? Anyways, so when it comes to protein, there's another, like all these formulas are going to be really simple for you to follow. Today, we're going to go over protein. Next time, we'll go over fats, and then we'll go over carbohydrates. Now, I always start with protein first because protein is important for building lean muscle, for repairing tissue, for bodily functions. Plus, who doesn't love protein, right? It's good for the gains course. Anyways, so <clears throat> when it comes to protein, what we want to do is again, this is an Australian, you can do it in pounds, it's up to you. So if you're in, if you want to figure this out, it's very, very simple. You get your body weight in kilograms again. Again, we're going to go off a 70 kilo male. So in this case, 70 kilograms. And we simply multiply it by two. It's that easy. So that means that you need 140 grams of protein. I can't draw a chicken. I was going to draw a chicken. Can't do that. 140 grams of protein a day. So it's pretty, pretty simple. I'll, I'll tell you in pounds too. So let's say LBs. So 70 um, pound, kilograms to LBs. You know what? It'll be easier if I just say this. Let's say you're 150 LBs. You're 150 pounds. Jesus, that's terrible. You're 150 pounds. That equals one gram per pound equals 150 grams of protein. And it's honestly as simple as that. So this is really good because when you start using you know, my fitness pal, like I told you to use last time, you can actually see how much protein you are eating during the day to make sure you're on track. Now, 140 grams of protein does not equal 140 grams of chicken breast or 140 grams of steak. You, you're going to need a lot more than that. So, usually around the 100 grams of meat is about 22 to 25 grams of protein, depending on what type of meat source you have and how lean it is. So you're gonna need a fair bit to be able to get uh, the 140 grams mark, but honestly, it's not gonna be a lot. If you have three meals, and let's say, if you're, if you're aiming for the 140 gram mark, and you have 45 grams of protein a meal, when you're having three meals a day, that's 135 grams of protein pretty easily, and you're getting in that 140 gram mark. 140 grams is the upper limit. It's really good for when you're trying to lose weight, obviously, because you wanna keep the protein high. 
And the reason we wanna keep the protein high is because it's gonna help, like I said, protect the muscle mass, so you're not gonna lose any gains when you're losing fat. Plus, having more protein is just more satiating. So it's a very, very simple formula to follow. Get your body weight in kilograms and times it by two, or get your body weight in pounds and just go one gram per pound of body weight. It's as simple, as easy as that. So, once you know that, now what you've got to figure out, here's the next important thing. So, one gram of protein equals four calories, okay? Now, this is important because now you can break down your calories into how many you need, right? So, if one gram equals four calories, 140 grams times four equals 400 plus four times four, 500 and 60 calories. This just looks shocking, but okay. This is what we're looking at here. So 140 grams of protein equals 560 calories. That is ugly as, but I hope you get the point here. So now, if you need to be eating 1,900 calories a day, and then 560 of those calories come from protein, you now have 1,340 calories left to eat, okay? So 560 of those calories are gonna come from protein. Now, for fats and carbs, this is where we're gonna figure out the rest, okay? So in episode, the next episode, I want you to have a look because we're gonna go over fats, but it's as simple as that. Body weight in kilos, multiply by two. Body weight in pounds, multiply by one. And once you know that number, you multiply that by four calories. So 560 calories are gonna come from protein. That means out of that 1,900 calories, you want 560 of them coming from protein. Simple as that. Hope it helped. See you in the fat episode. Hey, we are covering fats. So, as you can see here, I decided to actually fill this out beforehand because I thought it might be a little bit easier, make it a little bit more readable, even though it's still not the best. But what do you do, okay? So, today, when it comes to fats, there's a lot of controversy out there, right? A while ago, we used to think fat was evil and fat's the devil, you should never have fat. Uh, because fat's going to make you fat. And then we've kind of gone to the opposite end of the spectrum. Now we're saying all you should be eating is fat. You don't need carbohydrates. There's the keto diet. There's all these crazy things out there. But you know what? The answer is it doesn't really matter whether you have lots of fat or whether you have a little bit of fat. But there is, sorry, there is a minimum amount of fat you want to be having every day though is because you want to have good hormone function, especially for testosterone. Because if you don't want your D to work, well then make sure you don't have any fat in your diet. And yeah, pretty much. So it's good for uh, the certain amount of fats that you can't, that you have to have in your diet no matter what. Which is why I've got a little bit of a range here to show you what to do. Now we're going to start off over this side here. So to be able to determine how many fats you want in your diet, you can go from as little as 0.5 to around the one gram mark. Now you can obviously increase this more because a lot of people have more fat, but this is what a general recommendation I would suggest you start off with. If in the future you want more fats and less carbohydrates because they're more filling, you can do it that way, but follow this general guideline first and then see how you go. So if you're doing body weight in kilos, you want to do 0.5 as a minimum, which would be 35 grams of fat a day, up to one gram, which is 70 grams of protein uh, of fat a day. If it's in LBs, you just half it. So you want 0.25 to 0.5. So if you're 150 LBs, 150 pounds, you want 75 grams of fat a day. Now, I, I always go for the, like, you know, the, the one gram mark because it's really simple to be able to follow. Uh, people are pretty satiated with 70 grams around their body weight and fat. Like I said, if you want to have it higher, you can if you want. So if I'm having 70 grams of fat a day or 75 grams of fat, depending on what you want, once you determine that, you then need to figure out how many calories you need. Now, when it comes to fat, fat is the highest macronutrient, highest in calories, right? So one gram of fat equals nine calories, which is pretty high, which is you know double the amount for protein. So protein's four grams, carbs are also four calories per gram, but fat is nine grams. So the more fat you have, the less calories you're gonna have for other macronutrients, which is really important because if you're very high in fat, then you're not gonna be able to get enough protein and enough carbohydrates in your diet. So that's one thing to think about. Now, since it's nine calories, we're gonna go 70 grams times nine equals 630 calories of your 1,900 calories you're having is gonna come from fat. So now we figure it out here, 1,900 calories, Take away 630 calories, leaves us with 1,270 calories left over. Now, if you go back to the other video about protein, we figured out that you need two grams per kilogram of body weight. 
So that's 140 grams of protein. 140 grams times four is 560, right? So if you figured out that if you take away your fat calories, you've got 1,270 calories left. Then if you take away your protein calories, you've then got 710 calories left over. Now, like I said, you can either use those calories, which we're gonna talk about next for carbohydrates, or you can use some of those extra calories for fat, depending on you. But start with the higher end of what I'd recommend first, which is one gram per kilogram of body weight, and see how your body goes to that. Now again, one gram of fat is not like a gram of avocado or not a gram of peanut butter or anything like that. The more you start using My Fitness Pal, the more and a better understanding you're gonna get of how much fat is in certain foods. So peanut butter, one, 20 grams of peanut butter is not gonna be 20 grams of fat, but it's still got a lot of fat in there. And when you start to become more aware of actually how much you're eating, what calories you're having, it's gonna be so much easier when it comes to figuring out, oh wow, that food's really high in calories and it's really high in carbs and fats, but not high in protein and vice versa. So this is a really good guide for you to start off with. Get your body weight times by one gram, then you times that by nine, that's gonna figure out how many calories you need. You take that amount of calories from your, what we first figured out, which is 30 times your body weight. You take that away, then you take away your protein, and that's what's gonna be left over. So then in the next episode, we're gonna go over carbs, and we're gonna discuss how to get the last amount of carbs. So let's go over that. All right, brah, it's time to talk about carbs. We've figured out how many calories you need, we've figured out how much protein you need, we've figured out how much fat you're gonna need, and the last thing is them carbohydrates. Now. Carbs are pretty important, right? They're not essential in your diet, but they're predominantly the, the, the predominant fuel source for what we're gonna need. When you weight train, when you do high intensity training, the fuel for your brain, all that stuff is fueled by these babies. So when people do keto and they go, oh, I've got the keto flu, it's because the brain is starved of carbohydrates and it's trying so hard to be able to turn everything else into glucose, right? So carbs, you want them in your diet, okay? Like who doesn't love potatoes? Who doesn't love all things, fruits, all that stuff? That's all carbohydrates. You're gonna want that in your diet, right? Now, we figured out yesterday, for the amount of calories you need for weight loss is 1,900, right? Which is your body weight times 30, take away 10%. Then we figured out from protein is that it's gonna be 560 calories coming from protein if you're 70 kilos. Calories from fat is gonna be 630. And so if we take those two away from 1,900 calories, you are left with 710 calories left over. So then those calories can be dedicated to either carbs or fat, depending on yourself, but today we're gonna to dedicate those to carbohydrates. Now one gram of carbohydrates is the same as protein. It's four calories per gram of carbohydrates. So if we've got 710 calories and you divide it by four, that's gonna leave you with 178 grams of carbohydrates. And that's it. You know how much calories you need, 1900. You need 560 of those calories coming from protein. You need 630 of those calories coming from fat. And 710 of those calories come from carbohydrates. And basically, if you start tracking your food using MyFitnessPal, and you get roughly these numbers, if you're hitting the 1900 calories and you're getting a lot from protein, and you're getting you know, 630 from fat, you're gonna lose weight if you're hitting those numbers consistently day in and day out. But the most important thing you need to be doing is tracking. You need to be using My Fitness Power because you can have all these numbers there, you can be guessing, you can be doing all those things, but at the end of the day, if you're not actually tracking and getting it done, then I can guarantee you that you are not going to start losing weight, right? So just a quick, quick overview. I'm just gonna rub this off really, really quickly and we're gonna go over the full overview just so you know exactly how it's gonna go again. Because at the end of the day, the easier I make this for you, the easier you can do it for your own life. You don't need to be reliant on other people. And the best thing, you don't need to have set meal plans because once you figure this out, it's gonna be so easy for you to say, okay, Oh, if I'm gonna have this during the day, that's gonna be this amount of carbohydrates, this amount of fats, and then you can figure out how to fill in the rest. So, weight loss. Let's have a look here. Body weight in kilograms. Multiply by 30, and then take away 10%. So, 70 times 30, 200, 2100 calories, 2100, take away 10%, 
which is 210 calories equals 1,890 calories. Now we're just going to round that off to 1,900 because that's not too bad. So then, after that, we're going to go over to here and we're going to figure out protein. So remember, protein equals 2 grams per kilogram of body weight. So 70 kilos times 2 equals 140 grams. Okay? You got with me so far? 1 gram of protein equals 4 calories. So 4 times 140 equals 560. Cool? Fats. equals, let's say, one gram per kilogram. So that equals 70 grams. Cool. 70 times nine equals 630 calories. So then if you combine those two together, you're going to be left over with 710 calories. So carbs, equals leftover, in this case, 710 calories, right? So then, 710 divided by 4 equals, what do we get here? Now I have it in my blank, 178 grams. Boom! And now you know how much you need to be eating. Calorie-wise, start here, then figure out your protein first, then your fats, then your carbohydrates. Not bad, right? Now, before, after you figured this out, track for two to three weeks. Jesus, I'm ugly at this. Before you change anything. Do not change any of this before you track for two to three weeks. I know you're going to want to. I know you're going to want to reduce the amount of calories. You're going to want to do all that stuff. But until you start tracking using MyFitnessPal, and until you know you are eating 1,900 calories a day, if that's your goal, whatever it is, do not change this up because we want you eating as much as possible while still being able to lose weight. Because at the end of the day, the faster you drop your calories, the slower your metabolism is going to be and you're risking muscle loss. So that is your little, um, that's your overview of how you can figure out how to lose weight, how many calories you need, proteins, fats, carbs, track for two to three weeks. And it's as simple as that. Hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, Comment down below, give us a thumbs up, do whatever you can, let me know if this is helpful and I'll make more of these for you. So, until next Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. I really appreciate it. Now, I've got a special gift for you. If you want to learn how I managed to lose 10 kilos and keep it off, then I've got the perfect treat for you. I've got a free intermittent fasting cheat sheet that I share on my website that shows you exactly how to diet effortlessly with intermittent fasting and fit it into your busy lifestyle. And more importantly, this is the exact guide that I follow every single day that allowed me to lose 10 kilos of body fat and keep it off four years later. So head on over to www.tysonbrown.com.au and pick up your free cheat sheet today and learn how to fit intermittent fasting into your life and diet effortlessly. Once again, that's www.tysonbrown.com.au. Opt in for the free cheat sheet and I'm going to send it straight to your inbox for free. Until next time, speak to you guys then.